can't believe they want me to ask Newt Gingrich to play us out. What does that even mean? To play us out? What does that even mean? We'll do it live! And welcome back, folks. We have a great show tonight. Presidential candidate Newt Gingrich is with us this evening to answer a few questions about health and fitness. Thank you for coming on the show tonight, Newt. Good to be back. Newt, have you ever been here before? No. <laughs> you got me there, Newt. All right, well, let's get to the topic at hand here. Newt, America has an obesity problem. Did you know that? I am really fed up with this fiction. Mm, actually, Newt, it's true. Uh, according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, 33.9% uh, of adults over the age of 20 are considered obese while 34.4% of adults over the age of 20 are considered overweight. In retrospect, we were wrong. I, I think I've probably learned some more. Well, a good man can admit when he's wrong, and Newt, I think the American people appreciate that. Let me ask you, how old are you, Newt? In my case, I'm 68 years old. And how much would you say you weigh? A little awkward now. I think it's appropriate. I don't think it's necessarily appropriate. To Ooh, sorry if you took offense to that, Newt, uh, but this is a program about health and fitness, so that's why I asked the question. I don't apologize for that. All right then, no apologies. Tell me, Newt, when it comes to health and fitness, what would you say your strengths are? I think my strength is being a leader, being able to actually solve problems, and being able to change Washington. Could you? Interesting that that in no way answered my question. Well, let me ask you this. If you had 50 extra pounds that you were carrying, what would you do? I mean, it's either Romney or mine, though. And I'm not going to pick a fight over Mitt Romney. What does Mitt Romney have to do with anything? Look, I think Mitt Romney is a, is a very admirable person. Competent person. He's not... This is a serious man. I'm not... Okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's not turn to politics here. I don't, I don't think we should even talk about Mitt Romney right now. I don't remember ever doing that. You just did. I am really fed up with this fiction. You know better. You're right, Newt. I guess I should have known better. Hmm. Well, let me ask you this, Newt. Uh, what is one thing that you would have wished for the American people? Look, I, I wish everybody had loved me. And when would you want the American people to tell you this? Well, hopefully they would have told me earlier in the day. If they told me in advance, I, w I would say, how can we help you? Newt, this has gotten so weird, I don't even know what to say. So, instead, I'll just ask you some really random questions. They are going to make a movie about your life. What do you want to be said about this movie? It was picked at the Vatican Film Festival as one of the three best films on John Paul II. Why do you think there was much more emphasis on exercise in the 80s? Um, I think at the time you had a lot more worries about the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union, huh? Well, I also heard you got a tattoo of an elephant. Why in the world would you get an elephant tattoo? That's because lots of people decided they like Alice the Elephant. Okay. Well, at the end of the day, who would you want people to say you were most like when it came to business? As good a businessman as Mitt Romney. <laughs> Mitt Romney again, huh? Well, you were quoted as saying that you would never give a penguin a handful of marbles. Why is that? You have no idea if one morning they're going to lose three or four of them. Your logic is somehow understandable. Tell me, what's your favorite quote from The Princess Bride? Um, that's a really good question. Uh, inconceivable. Newt, it just so happens that that is also a favorite quote of mine. Well, we are out of time. Guys, I appreciate all of you for tuning in to this interview with presidential candidate Newt Gingrich. Mr. Gingrich, it was a pleasure and an honor. Thank you, sir. Good to be with you. <sighs> I'm sure glad that is over.